Hello. Today we will be talking about vitamin E. There are plenty of benefits to taking vitamin E. Vitamin E is an antioxidant. It may help protect your cells from damage. This essential nutrient occurs naturally in many foods. It's also available as a dietary supplement. Sometimes, it's in processed foods. Vitamin E is fat soluble. This means your body stores and uses it as needed. The term vitamin E describes eight different compounds. Alpha tocopherol is the most active one in humans. You've probably seen rust on your bike or car. A similar process of oxidation and accelerated aging takes place in your body when cells are exposed to molecules called free radicals. Free radicals weaken and break down healthy cells. These molecules may also contribute to heart disease and cancer. Free radicals form as a result of normal body processes. They cause damage that shortens the life of your cells. Vitamin E is a powerful antioxidant that may help reduce free radical damage and slow the aging process of your cells. Researchers have investigated the use of vitamin E as treatment for a variety of degenerative diseases, including hardening of the arteries, high blood pressure, heart disease, and cancer. Studies so far have failed to show a reduction in the incidence of these conditions, according to the Mayo Clinic. There is a lack of proven medical uses for vitamin E aside from treating vitamin E deficiency, which is a rare condition. Vitamin E may help people with higher environmental or lifestyle risk factors. Free radicals are increased by cigarette smoking, exposure to air pollution, and high exposure to ultraviolet rays from sunlight. Vitamin E may help repair damaged cells. It's difficult to consume too much vitamin E in your regular diet. It's neither risky nor harmful to obtain vitamin E from food sources. Don't go overboard with vitamin E supplements. While overdosing on food-based vitamin E is unlikely, taking high doses of this vitamin in supplement form can cause serious side effects. One serious side effect is an increased risk of hemorrhagic stroke. Dosages shouldn't exceed 1,000 international units I use per day if you're using synthetic supplements. The recommended daily allowance RDA, for ages 14 and up is 15 mg mg. The two types of vitamin E available as supplements are the natural form, which is D-alpha-tocopherol and the synthetic form, which is D-L-alpha-tocopherol. The natural form is slightly more biologically active. Check the label to determine which form of vitamin E you have. Information on the label can help you make sure you're getting the appropriate dosage. The following foods are good sources of vitamin E. Dry roasted sunflower seeds. Dry roasted hazelnuts. Dry roasted peanuts. Dry roasted almonds. Spinach, boiled. Broccoli, chopped and boiled. Kiwi fruit. Mango. And tomatoes. Getting creative will help you reap the many benefits of vitamin E in your diet. For more information on vitamin E and other supplements be sure to check out the links down in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.